Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to shoot for some pearls on this 10 by 20 canvas. Um, let me go over the colors real quick. This first color, these are pretty thin. It doesn't sink down right away, um, about three inches above it, like little mound, but then it goes in pretty quick. So this color is Basics Bright Aqua Green and Deco Art Metallics Peacock Pearl. Those two together. The next color is Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown. Try to get them all the same consistency. They've been sitting for a minute, so yeah, pretty good. The next one is Deco Art Extreme Sheen Deep Sapphire. I have to be careful with this. This will take over. And the next one is Chroma Zandu Gold. So they're all pretty thin. Now, my base coat, by the way, these are all mixed with Liquitex Pouring Medium. Sorry, let me turn the light. I forgot this light. It really matters. Sorry. That better. So, Liquitex pouring medium only and water. Um, it's hard to say how much of each. I would say more Liquitex than water, maybe three quarters Liquitex and one quarter water to get it. Um, some of these paints were thinner than others, so I had to adjust that. My base coat this is 50% Artist Loft White and 50% satin enamel called angel food color. I just happen to have it around. It's a, it's a satin enamel house paint. So 50-50. That's why it's sort of a cream colored. Then I put Liquitex pouring medium. Probably, uh, I would say, to paint to Liquitex, maybe 50-50. And then I added water to um, a thinner consistency than my colors. So that's what I'm going to shoot for today. Let's see what happens. Another experiment. So this is a used canvas. I'm going to go ahead and get that stuff out of the way. Get a nice coat of this on there. Got plenty. This is where you can see if you have any goobies or whatever you want to call them in your paint. Yeah, I lucked out. I got a gallon of like brand new paint at a garage sale for like three dollars, and it just happened to be this cream angel food color, angel food cake color. So I'm like, why not? Maybe I can use it for something. All right, it's pretty much covered. Good enough. I'm gonna be tilting it off anyway. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Not sure when I'm gonna show this, but we're getting rain in California. We needed it so bad. Rain and snow. So I can see snow-capped mountains from my kitchen. We're in another drought. Let me know where you're from. Is there anybody else out there from California? Sort of near Sacramento. Actually, it's pretty good. There's not... Maybe one little speck of something, if I can even get it, it's so small. I don't even think it would matter. It's so tiny.
Okay, so I'm just going to pour, I'm not, I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. Do I want to do a flip cup? Do I want to just pour it on? I'm thinking about just pouring it on like a, in layers. Sorry, I need to think about this. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a design. Probably too much paint. I'm just going to pour right over it. I'm not going to have very much of this because it's. I don't want it taken over. Gold. I have a problem making my paints thin enough. So I hope I did on this one, but let's see how it goes. I know you can't see. Go. Go ahead and do this corner. Starting to get pearls. I think I want to keep some of this negative space here, so I think I'm going to stop pretty soon. Level out. Don't want to stretch the pearls if they're going to happen. Like it's gonna happen. Did see something right here. Okay. I just put a little bit of the extreme sheen and it really spread out a lot. <clears throat> I don't get much over here yet, but I'm happy with what I'm seeing so far. Some of the pearls. This is more like clouds in here. Some of the pearls are in here are sort of wonky. I 
find it got enough paint off over here. Seems like the extreme sheen isn't pearling up as much as the turquoise and the gold. Not yet anyway. I'm going to go ahead and let that go. I'll speed it up for you. Now this area is what I got off first. This corner, just the, yeah, this corner and then went on down, then this corner and then didn't take it all the way off here. I wanted to save some of that negative space. Yeah, you can tell there's less, less paint where I rolled it off over here. In fact, you can see the canvas. You can see the color right here on this edge. You can see the white through there like it when it rolled off. So it's, it is thinner on this side than this side, especially right in here. That tells me you have to make sure that you get off enough paint. If this doesn't happen here, then that would be the problem. So yeah, pretty happy so far. I mean, even if it doesn't go all the way, I would be okay with these colors popping through like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait about, probably about 30 minutes, and then I will bring you back. Okay, I'm gonna put it on with a little stick. I mean, cause who knows, I might not ever get this look again. I don't know. And I don't know if I'm ruining it now. Um, what's going to happen here. I want these to be round. Getting some good reaction. It's happening a little too quick, so that worries me. I've done this on other pours. If you look back, I have some injection pours using this recipe where you inject the paint into the puddle. But I figured, you know what? Why not just mess around? Combined three different techniques. I know what you don't want to do. You don't want to use some plain milk paint because it will crack. I will be covering this for it to dry. I'm hoping these don't get too wonky. They're already wonking out here. I don't know. It's really doing stuff quick here.
Um, I guess you could still see it, huh? Yes, you can. Okay, I'm back again. Um, I'm just not digging this area. So I think I'm going to put milk paint dot, dots there, right here and right in here, and possibly here. I don't know. I just keep messing. So I'm going to. I'll be right back. I'm going to set up for that. I'm going to be using my milk paint, semi gloss house paint, Floetrol, and half part GAC 800 as my dots. I keep it in this. This is my injection pour recipe. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. Um, I'm just not digging this area. So. I think I'm going to put milk paint dot, dots there, right here, and right in here, and possibly here. I don't know. I just keep messing. So I'm going to... I'll be right back. I'm going to set up for that. I'm going to be using my milk paint, semi-gloss house paint, Floetrol, and half part GAC 800 as my dots. I keep it in this. This is my injection pour recipe. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I'll bring you back. I'm going to go ahead and finish up here. I'll bring you back in about 30 minutes. Here we go. So this side of the canvas was a little wetter. So the milk paint turned into like a gray color, which is fine. Sort of weird. I don't know why. But then down here where the paint was drier it kept the white color and as I got towards the end where it was drier paint it stayed looking like that so keep that in mind if you're going to be using milk paint dots but overall it's pretty cool I learned a lot if you learned something please like and subscribe I really appreciate it. A lot of my materials I use are in the Amazon links down below. Keep shopping for whatever you want. And I get a little credit at no extra cost to you. See all my social sites. 
That's cool right there. The gold basically disappeared and the brown disappeared. The turquoise is peeking out, Look at, even peeking out right there. So we got the milk paint dots, a swipe, and a pearl. Take care, everyone. I can't wait to do the next one. I'm always learning, too, just like you. Thanks. Bye.